Mr. Kaiser is seemingly done. And just when I thought that the big bad boy is down, he's not the big bad boy. He was just big and bad. The actual really bad bad guy is the guy that we saw earlier in the episodes talking to Mr. Kaiser, got that flame coming up, took Hoshino and said, Hey, you are the strongest mystic. I need to get you to do something else for me. And I'm part of a different company. Plot twist. Aru showing up. Problem Solver 68, that was actually peak. Last episode, in terms of action, you know, felt like a movie finale right now. We got a couple episodes left with Blue Archive. I think this is episode 11, meaning there's only two episodes left, right? It's this one, and next week, and it's over. So we should have some kind of closure, some kind of end of arc kind of deal, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Hoshino-san's <laughs> どうだい。あくにアクセスしてみましたが、現在地を特定できませんでした。どうぞ。うん。どうぞ。どれ。ラビボンしかして、星野。なあ、なあ、星野。ほ。ほ、ほ。ほ。ほ。ほ。ほ
unnatural, man-made. This is not just a natural disaster. This gotta be intentional. The sandstorm. I don't know what the lore is, but it happened and it's unnatural. I feel like they created it as artificial scarcity just so that they can sell the fucking water and shit. There's no way it just happens. You, you just happen to be there. You just happen to fucking capitalize on this. It is that convenient. This is not fucking planned. Thank you, Fraser, for the gift of sub, man. Capitalism, baby! This is some uh, reality check. What he's saying is fucked, but it's not wrong. No, maybe wrong isn't that right word. Ethically, this is wrong, absolutely. But like, he can get away with it because that's the fucking society that we live in. Not even just this anime, literally real life. Thank you, Evans, for the gift of subs, man. Like, think about, like, pharmacy, right? If you live in the United States, right? You want fucking insulin because you have diabetes? In other places around the world, that shit's cheap. In America, it's way more fucking expensive because the people with the patents, big pharmaceutical, you know, companies, they can fucking price gouge you and just set a price that is so unreasonable, but it's like, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? That's the fucking system. And they're simply playing the game, you know, according to the system. So one has to ask, who the fuck created this system from the beginning? Who makes these laws and policies to do so? And you know what the fucked up thing is? Those people are the same motherfuckers who are in bed with the corporations that are paying them money. So it's like the people with resources and power are the ones that's actually indirectly writing the fucking rules. It's rigged. It's a fucking rigged ass game, bro. Nah. We gotta do it together with Hoshino. What do you mean? We got like five high school girls that can take on your fucking military army. <laughs> We're fucking cooked. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? This? You know what? I think this is about time we get some fucking bailout happening. Like, where the fuck is the General Student Council president? That's been hinted from the beginning. Are we gonna get the disciplinary committee from fucking Gehenna show up again? Is, you know, Problem Solver 68 already bailed us out once. We need, like, Trinity, Millennium, General Student Council, fucking Gehenna to show up and bail us out right now. Because right now, with what we have, it's fucking, it's, we, we can't, it's over. That's why you got it wrong. That's why you don't realize that Sensei doesn't care about that. Sensei likes little girls in high school and hanging around with them, okay? You have no fucking clue what you're dealing with. What is it? What do you, what do? You do? What do, you do? Oh, I thought something crazy happened there with the card. I, I, I thought like... Since he's like card fucking activated and like he was like looking up at some kind of fucking power, but this is Dark Sweet just getting mad right now, huh? <laughs> Damn, Sensei, you sounded so cool. <laughs> okay, but. Sensei is actually such a good person, man. I keep making these, you know, pedo jokes here and there because he you needs know, the blue archive thing, right? But like, Sensei, honestly, he's actually such a good person, man. Thank you, Abyss, for five gifted subs, man. I appreciate them, my man. <laughs> You're wrong. Being an alt about exploiting the children. Nah, Sensei is actually. In some banger line. So far, since they just kind of existed there and just kind of like, you know, just stood there while the girls just did everything and sometimes since they would help out. But like, this is probably one of the few episodes where since is getting dialogue and it's like impactful. <laughs> yes, and by your logic, who becomes adults? Children, children of the new generation. You make sure they grow up properly so they don't become fucking freaks like you when they're adults and then make fucked up rules. <laughs> That's the entire point of this! <laughs> Okay, 
その全てを捨てるなんていう無 You know what? I think that if you need such power and influence to force yourself to be in control of all these different resources and be respected, you're doing it wrong. If you gotta fucking pay to do that shit, you're doing it wrong. By Sensei just being Sensei, I guarantee you he's gonna achieve all of that and more without having to exploit them because the people's champion is simply, you know, crowned by the people, right? He's pay to win. Sensei's free to play. We go home. Okay. Mimesis. Do we know what Mimesis is? This is a new word that I'm hearing. Dark side of a mystic is capable of terror. A mystic is basically, uh, like, Hoshino, right? Like an agent that has Halo fucking shoots people. It's, it's a term that hasn't really been explained, but basically Hoshino is a mystic. And she's like the strongest mystic. Basically, it's gonna be Dark Hoshino now. Cap! Uh, Mr. Kaiser. Let's do it again someday, okay. Sus. He is... An interesting guy. Well, then again, most villains aren't. Uh, villains in Blue Archive has some pretty interesting where they're kind of like. Kind of risk. Like, 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 they don't try to just, like, fucking. You know, they did kidnap Hoshino and stuff like that, but it seems kind of reasonable, right? They keep it kind of professional. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Are we just gonna infiltrate them now? Mass swimsuit gang, let's go. Ohio, wakey wakey. No, no, me actually being serious for once. This is kind of like that, yeah. What are, you, what are you gonna say instead then? <gasps> Cunny moments! Oh my goodness! Cunny moments! Dignity, my ass. You're just a tsundere. That's right, we need like allies. Problems number 68. Someone else needs to show up, man. Sensei's previous girls that we saw, right? A couple episodes ago, we saw other girls that was part of Sensei Squad a long time ago in that flashback. So why don't we get them to help? They're still around. Looking like Ojo Sama territory. He for me. Rich Girl Academy. Holy fuck. Damn! There's actual people that attend the school, bro. It's crazy how different, you know, this is Trinity, right? It's, it's crazy how different Trinity and fucking <laughs> we are. It, it, Millennium or Trinity? I, I keep getting those, you know, sw swapped up, but they're fucking academy, they're, they're gated private schools, right? This is like, your parents are rich as fuck and you send them to like, you know, private schools, boarding academies, while Abidos is basically like fucking the shittiest public school that's been abandoned. <laughs> What's she reading? She's got a whole ass mask. It sounds like this girl was like reading something embarrassing and then she's like, oh my, oh, she's reading fucking BL. She, uh, no, no, it's a, it looks like rom-com. It looks like there's a guy and a girl on that cover and she got fucking, you know, embarrassed and there's a girl in a gas mask. We need backup. Oh, who's this girl? Nagisa. Ooh, new characters, man. They don't give a fuck about Hoshinora problems, bro. They're too busy picking which dessert they're gonna eat because that's how fucking bougie they are. Mont how is she listening, bro? This is all for her? This entire fucking... Is she like the fucking uh, student council president, bro? This is all for her? Holy shit. 
Let's go to Gehenna next. Let's go to Gehenna next. Hina. Hina's forehead will save us. No, no, this is Gehenna. This is Gehenna. She's the hologram cowgirl. She's a cowbell. Yeah, I remember her. That cowbell accessory is just... You know what they're trying to do. <laughs> Set a cuss T, GG. NPCs! War in the cafeteria? She showed up, drank Serika's tea, and left. Correction! What is this dialogue? What it she this is the second time she said this shit last time too and as soon as she said it she's like oh shit I said that again and then she starts blushing and said I didn't mean that <laughs> literally the same thing her shoes already gone bro her shoes already gone this happened again she subconsciously says lick my feet and she's like wait, wait did I just say that that's <laughs> it Sensei never beaten the allegations, bro. He's doing this to protect the children. Do you understand? This is the only way that we're gonna protect Hoshino. Okay, we gotta lick this girl's feet <laughs> to get kid as hell. <laughs> they even try to be discreet about it. Pride, who needs that? I need to protect Hoshino. <laughs> Goblin and grippers. He goblin and them grippers, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Hina. He just bowing. He doing more than bowing. Your foot too. Even Hina gets you know embarrassed like that, huh? We did all that. We slobbered on all that gripper. And, and, and nothing? They didn't help us out? Since he knew they weren't gonna help, but did it anyways, because he was like, yep, that's what I'm actually here for, not to save Hoshino. All right, I see that, bro. He's more than happy about that. Aru? This is a playground. <laughs> Their new headquarters is a public park. They're broke as fuck. What's going on? Are they in a fucking tent somewhere in the bushes? Where are they? We'll help with anything. Problem number 68. Children's playground is our new fucking hideout, bro. Damn. We just... They just... They just keep getting lower and lower. I feel bad for them, bro. They got like evicted from their fucking office. They couldn't pay for that shit. Now they're using a public fucking playground, bro, as their new head headquarters. You gotta start somewhere, I guess. Oh, we got a cart. Okay. Finally. Oh, oh, new girls? Two cats. Millennium? Millennium girls? Is this, are, are we finally getting to Millennium? Problem over 68. If we don't get lucky soon. And we got lucky. Oh, that check. They were eating here? We'll pay you later. You can lick my feet. <laughs> Is she really thinking that? Is she? Oh. 
考えさせてもらえる。ある様、社長、みんな、行くわよ。ちょっとあるステンケンバウ。あの子たちは必ず来てくれると。センスでヘルパー。でおいすと。信じるか。バイバイ、ビッグボス。続く。Oh my god, big boss! That was so motivational! Yes, sir! Mina, Jimby, are you going? Jim, Kako, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a Mr. Kaiser is in jail. No, no, no. Where is he actually? I'm not sure. We blew him up last episode. I straight up have no idea. And that's the episode. Like, I have no idea where Mr. Kaiser is right now. Like, what happened at the end of last episode, right? Or even when we beat Mr. Kaiser. He just kind of blew up. Is he alive? I have no clue. Did they just escape? Maybe they escaped and they're just healing up back in the base. But it's looking like the finale is going to be... Did he just go home? <laughs> so he just so we just like shot a bunch of explosives at him. He just went home, huh? So he's just recovering. So when we show up, he's gonna be like, "Oh, you motherfuckers again!" <laughs> and the Palm Summer Sixty Eight is probably gonna show up and help out too. Um, I think that next episode we're gonna be like getting in there, and things are gonna look bad. And when things are looking bad, it's gonna be like this Avengers-like fucking finale where Problem Solver Sixty Eight shows up, Gehenna shows up. Millennium, sh not Millennium, Trinity shows up. And then maybe even Millennium. Fuck it, fucking General Student Council President. Fuck it, fuck it. Hoshino's old senpai shows up. I'm going all out. I don't care. All the fucking characters are gonna come out of fucking nowhere and save Hoshino. But I wonder if Hoshino's gonna be like dark Hoshino or not. Because they're trying to like instill fear or terror within her. And she's gonna be like an evil mystic. But I hope next episode is gonna be some. Giga Avengers like, you know, finale where every fucking side just shows up out of nowhere and just clutches, and then we can call that a season. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.